Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use Master Pages in Publisher to change the default appearance of pages in your publication. A master page is simply a page that contains the default objects and content that you want to apply as a page layout to a publication page that you choose. That way, when you add pages to your publication, they can then be formatted according to the master page's specifications. You can have several master pages within a publication. You can create and customize your own master pages in Publisher. You can then save these master pages as a custom publisher template for future use. To display the master page view, click the master page button in the views group on the view tab in the ribbon to open master pages. So we'll click on the view tab in the ribbon and then in the views group here at the left we'll click master page. The master pages will appear in the navigation pane at the left side of the window and the currently selected master page in this panel will then be displayed for editing over in the main window. You will also see the new master page tab appear within the ribbon as we see here and you can use the buttons found in the groups on this tab to make changes to the master pages in your publication. To add a new master page if desired you can click the add master page button in the master page group to open the new master page dialog box. In this dialog box you can enter an identifier for the master page into the page ID text box. You get a single character. Now typically master pages are simply identified in alphabetical order so we'll go ahead and just leave that as B. Underneath that in the description text box you can add a description. You can call it anything you want. It defaults to master page B and I think we'll just go ahead and leave it as that for right now. Now if you want to create a two page master page then check the two page master checkbox located right here. When you're ready to create your new master page just click OK and you'll see it displayed over here in the page navigation pane. You can customize a master page by first selecting it in the navigation pane. You can then add any content that you want to have displayed in your publication pages by default into the selected master page. So this is often a great place to add building block content that you want to have displayed on your pages. You can also apply any other design items that you want to apply to your pages as well. Now note that this content will not be editable when applied to the actual pages in your publication. However, it is an excellent place to insert content that will not change, such as page numbers or other custom header and footer information. So for example, we could go to Insert, and we could go to Page Parts, and look at More Page Parts, click Home, we'll navigate to our business information, we'll select the Teach Comp logo that we looked at earlier, and click Insert to insert that into our master page. We can move it around anywhere we like, and it's now inserted in there. Now you can also insert header and footer information. To access the header and footer in your selected master page, you can click the Show Header and Footer button in the Header and Footer group. So we're going to go back to Master Page, click on that tab, then in the Header and Footer group, click the Show Header and Footer button right there. Your insertion marker will be placed at the left edge of the header or footer each time you click this button. See it right there. You can then use the tab key on your keyboard to tab to the center and to the right tab within the header. So if we scroll over, we'll see it's now at the right hand side. Once your insertion marker is at the desired location, you can then click the insert page number button up in the header and footer area here. So we'll click insert page number and the page number will appear right there. So what that would do is because we're inserting that into our master page, what would happen then is any pages that we add to our actual publication would automatically have their page numbers assigned to it. 
Now you could also select to insert the date or insert the time if you wanted to do that as well. Go ahead and undo those. Once you're done inserting the information in there, you just click out of there and you're done editing. Now remember that you could also simply type your own custom header and footer information if you so desire. Just remember that that's permanent then in your publication and won't be editable within the actual pages of the publication. Now after you're done editing this then we can look back on the master page group over here and we have a few more options. You can click the two page master button right here to switch the currently selected master page between a two-page and a one-page layout. So we've just selected to switch it to a two-page layout. Now it's a toggle button, so if I click it again, I can switch back to a single page. But note that if you do this, Publisher will warn you that all objects on the left master page will be deleted and replaced by the objects on the right master page. So you'll need to click the OK button in the confirmation dialog box in order to continue. You can click the Apply To drop-down, also located in that group, to apply the currently selected master page to pages within your publication. From the drop-down, you can select the Apply To All Pages to apply the selected master page to all of the pages in your publication. You could also select Apply To Current Page to apply the master page just to the currently selected page within the publication. You could also select the Apply Master Page command to open the Apply Master Page dialog box that we see here. Now in this dialog box, you will have the option to apply the currently selected master page to all, to the current page, or a page range within the publication. If you select the Pages option in the middle, then you have to enter the page range into the adjacent two text boxes. We'll select all pages in this case. And when you're done, you simply click OK to finish. You can also click the Duplicate button in that master page group to duplicate the master page that's currently selected. You just enter an ID and description for the duplicate page into the duplicate master page dialog box that appears. I'll just leave this as copy of B for right now and then click OK and you'll see that new one appear down here. You can click the rename button in the master page group and that will open the rename master page dialog box where you can enter a new ID and description for the master page and then click the OK button to rename the page if you want. You can also click the Delete button, just below that, to delete the currently selected master page from your publication. Now if you do this, Publisher will warn you that if the master page has been applied to any pages in your publication, that the first master page will be applied in its place. So if that's okay with you, then just click the Yes button, and that master page will have been deleted. Now, once you've finished customizing the master pages, you can then click the Close Master Page button, located right here. It's in the Close group on the Master Page tab in the ribbon, and that will close the master page view. Now, what we see here is our publication. And because we've created a master page and applied it to every page in our publication, this is our first page that we're looking at, the logo that we inserted is right here in the center and you'll see I can't click on it. It's not editable at all because it's part of the master page. Then also up here in the header we see our page number. Now if I add more pages it will automatically number that in sequential order. And that's how you use master pages in Publisher. So you can really have some fun with that creating the master pages but it also saves you a lot of time and it makes things more efficient if you have information that's going to stay the same on each of the pages in a publication. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.